Hi, my name is Alyssa and I'm from the NGIS Transition Support Team here at ADEC. ADEC is a Victoria not-for-profit organisation that supports people with disabilities, their carers and family members from ethnic backgrounds. This video will help you plan for your first meeting with the NGIS. Firstly, let's have a look at what an NDIS plan looks like. What is an NDIS plan? An NDIS plan is a document that outlines your needs, goals and required disability supports, including any funding you may receive. Your first plan is the start of a lifelong relationship with the NDIS. And as your life changes, so will your plan. Everyone in the NDIS has their own individual plans, tailored specifically for you. A plan lasts for 12 months and is reviewed towards the end of that 12 months. You can also request 24 or 36 month plans if conditions are stable and supports are unlikely to change over that time. A plan will include five important parts. Information about you, family and friends, services and community groups you have attended, your goals and funded supports, there are three types of support budgets that can be approved in your NDIS plan. Core supports, capacity building support and capital supports. Why do you need a planning meeting? The NDIA can only approve a plan tailored for you after a planning meeting. This is a place to discuss the supports you want in your plan with your NDIS planner. Free planning. While you're waiting for your planning meeting, it's a good idea to get organised as to what you want in your first NDIS plan. There are many free disability advocates and free planning officers in community organisations who can help you get ready for your planning meeting. They can work with you on details such as what supports you already have, what supports you or your family might need, what goals you would like to achieve in your plan, and what supports you will need to achieve these goals, the types of supports NDIS typically fund. This might include therapy, such as speech therapy or occupational therapy, support workers, short-term accommodation or skills development, for example, independent living skills, such as brushing your teeth or going to the toilet, learning the public transport system, or learning how to use money. However, the NDIS will only fund supports which are reasonable and necessary for your disability. Evidence to support your application such as support letters, assessments or recommendations from your therapists, care statements, or letters of support from any service or program you attend. Your pre-planning worker may also talk to you about how to manage your plan. If you think you may not be able to implement the plan yourself, you may be able to get funding for a support coordinator. Attending your planning meeting. Your initial planning meeting will be organised by the NGIA or your local area coordinator. These meetings can be at the planner's office or your home. Pre-planning workers can also come with you to your meeting if you need extra support. Pre-planning workers can include an advocate, a family member, carer, or anyone you choose to support you in that meeting. Please discuss this with your pre-planning worker. When NDIS calls to arrange your meeting, please let them know who will be attending with you or if you need an interpreter. Make sure you bring any pre-planning documents or evidence you have prepared. During the planning meeting, the planner may do the following. Complete questionnaires or forms with you about your daily life, what you do every day. Ask you about the supports you already have, help you to create your goals for your plan, help you decide what you need to achieve your goals. Explain what your plan may look like and what types of supports you can get. Or discuss how you would like to manage your plan. Once you have your planning meeting, the NDIS planner will develop a plan and then send it to you. You can request a draft plan before it is made final and submitted to the NDIA for approval. The NDIA delegate decides which supports are reasonable and necessary. You can ask your NDIS planner to send you a translated copy of your plan if that's what's easier for you. Look through the plan very carefully and make sure you're happy with it. If happy, your NDIS planner or support coordinator will help you in implementing your plan. If you're not happy, you can submit an internal review within three months of your plan being made. Your advocate may be able to help you with this review. For more information, please watch our NDIS reviews video. If you have any questions about how to prepare for your NDIS planning meeting, you may want to contact the NDIA helpline on 1800 800 110, a disability advocate or a pre-planning worker. 
If you need any help with your upcoming planning meeting, please contact ADEC on 03 9480 7000 or email reception at adec.org.au.